In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Unal Belli died with Christ and rose with him to a new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. Amen. Amen. The choir. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a full taste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture burst on my sight. Angels descending bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. As we know, we have come here for a funeral mass and we ask each person to be very active in this moment of prayer for our mother here, grandmother, great-grandmother. So we have come here just to pray for her and I want all of us to be more, to be very active and to avoid every distraction as we perform this acts of farewell. We have spaces in front, so people can come and fill up these spaces in front. As we begin our prayers, let us pray. O oh God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant, Una Bellix, whom you have called to journey to you. And since she hoped and believed in you, grant that she may be led to our true homeland in heaven to delight in its everlasting joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May we sit for the readings.
A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the virtuous are in the hands of God. No torment shall ever touch them. In the eyes of the unwise, they did appear to die. Their going looked like a disaster. They're leaving us like annihilation, but they are in peace. If they experience punishment as men see it, their hope was rich with immortality. Slight was their affliction, great will their blessing be. God has put them to the test and proved them worthy to be with him. He has tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as a holocaust. They who trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with him in love. For grace and mercy await those he has chosen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me down to lie. In past is green, he leadeth me. The quiet waters by. He lives, he lives, he lives. I know that my Redeemer lives, he lives, he lives, he lives within my heart. My soul he doth restore again. And me to walk that make within the path of righteousness, for my own name's sake. He lives, he lives, he lives. I know that my Redeemer lives, he lives, he lives, he lives. My heart, yet though I walk in death's dark veil, yet will I fear on ill. For thou art with me, and I rod and stab me comfort still. He lives, he lives, he lives. I know. My Redeemer lives, he lives, he lives, he lives within my heart. My table thou hast finished in presence of my foes. My head thou dost with oil anoint, and my cup overflows. He lives, he lives, he lives. I know that my Redeemer lives, he lives, he lives, he lives within my heart. Goodness and mercy all my life shall surely follow me. And in God's house forevermore my dwelling place shall be. He lives, he lives, he lives. I know that my Redeemer lives, he lives. He lives, he lives within my heart. Please stand. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the living bread which has come down from heaven, says the Lord. 
Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I shall not turn him away, because I have come from heaven not to do my own will, but to do the will of the one who sent me. Now the will of him who sent me is that I should lose nothing of all that he has given to me, and that I should raise it up on the last day. Yes, it is my father's will that whoever sees the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life and that I shall, I sh shall raise him up on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May we sit for a while. So today, we assemble here for funeral mass, requiem mass, in honor of Una Bellis. Some months ago, we were here to do a funeral for her husband, Theophilus. So we celebrate God's goodness, God's love in their lives. God loved them and gave them good lives. And uh, within the course of their living together as husband and wife, they were able to take care of so many children and then grandchildren and then great-grandchildren. So your parents could be said to be one of those people who we are feel that we are privileged to enjoy long life, to enjoy good life and to enjoy this good life lived in God. So when I saw them, I know how old they live together. As I said last time, they have set good example for many of their children and all those who have come to know her, you know them while they lived. And the, the Bible tells us that to whom much is given, much is expected. So from our first reading, we, the souls of the virtues are in the hands of God. No torment shall ever touch them. And it is a reality very clear to all of us that death is inevitable. Every man and every woman will die. And what is not known is the time, the moment, 
the hour or the circumstances that may surround our deaths. Some will sleep and die in their sleep. Some will be sick and be carried to places. Some will die young. Some will die old. But nobody knows his own circumstance. Therefore, what is most important is that the virtuous, those who live a good life, will be with God. And those who did not live good lives will not be with God. So what is in between is a choice of a destination. If you choose where you want to go, then you plan for it. If you want to go to God, you plan to go to God. If you want to go elsewhere, you plan for that. If you are going to Port of Spain, you know where to go and enter a taxi to Port of Spain. So you can't, you can't be going to Port of Spain and we are looking for a taxi going to Togo, Togo, eh? Or to Grandi. So your destination helps you to choose means. And that means is just a choice of the means you want. Some want to walk to Port of Spain. Some want to go with bikes. Some want to go in a car or buy a car. So it depends on what you want as a person. And that's why I'm saying now that so if you are living life that can be defined as virtuous, life of virtue, it means that you are preparing to meet God. Because the Bible says the souls of the virtuous are in the hands of God. So, but if your life is not a life of virtue, good works, it means you are not preparing to be in the hands of God. There is no miracle at the end of time. Whatever you want for yourself, begin now to plan for it. If you want to pass exams, you begin from the first day to read. If you want a good grade, first class, you work for first class. You don't give it because of the color of your face or your height or beauty. It is on merit. So my dear friends, all I'm trying to say is that, yes, we are here in a mourning mood. We mourn because we lost a loved one. But what's the most, most important is to be lost forever. Because when somebody dies and the person lived a good life, it is called a celebration of life well lived. Because as we rejoice that he, he or she lived a good life, the angels are singing, the angels are dancing that a holy one had joined them in heaven. So it may be a, a loss, but gain of the heavenly bodies, the gain, heavenly gain, heaven gains when a good man or a good woman dies. Because the number of angels, the number of saints will increase. But those who deserve eternal mourning and Christ are those who die in sin, mortal sin, because their death is eternal destruction. I don't know who you are or where you live and what you do or what you do, but look at your lives and ask yourself, am I living out the good things? I learned from 
Una and Theo Bellix. Are we following the family standards? Are we being good enough? Are we having anything to do with our Savior and Redeemer? Jesus says that whoever comes to him will be saved. He can't force you. Yes, it is my Father's will that whoever sees the Son and believes in him shall have eternal rest. And I shall raise him up on the last day. Have you seen Jesus? Have you seen him? If you have seen him, do you believe in him? To believe is not something you will do without showing it in the way you live. If you believe in something, it comes out in the way you live your life. That's what we call religious experience. Once it happens, seeing Jesus, then it happens in what we call religious expression. You have to express your belief in the way you conduct your affairs. So ask yourself, the way I live my life as a man or as a woman, as a parent, does my life give glory to God? Does my word of life show that I believe in Jesus? This couple, Una and Theo, we are married for more than seven decades, for more than 70 years. Does it mean that they never had problems in their marriage? But they stayed steadfast and maintain the faith and raise their children together. So anybody that is from them, either as a son, daughter, grandchild, or great-grand who is divorced, is already out of line for this family because they're not following the example of their grandparents or parents. So those who are married, remain married to honor them. Do you hear what I'm saying? Eh? Say, because my grandparents never divorce, I will not divorce. I'm not, I'm not begging you. I'm telling you what you should do. That is not about what you want. It's about what God wants. So that is one example have to remain married and raise up your family, raise up your children with good example as they did, to, did for you. That's what we call family tradition. So you have to believe in Jesus and show it in the way you live. If, if, if you're not doing that, then try to go and reconcile with your Jesus. Ask him for forgiveness so that your grandparents and parents will not weep from their graves. And then when they were alive, they formed a center of unity for the entire family. Now they are no more. Who among the children will assume the role of gathering all of you again? Let some, let some of you volunteer and keep the children together, the grandchildren, the greats, and those yet unborn, so that you will know who, where you come from and know one another and appreciate one another. Family is a support system. Don't play with family connections. It's, very, it's the most important institution in the whole world. God created us to live in families and to form a support system for one another. That's why a cousin can go to a cousin for help. 
That's why you can say, because I'm from Belix, I can come to your house and eat and spend my holiday without paying. That is family support. Don't throw it away. Let one of you or some of you form a team because it's a big family. I think you have up to 10 children. And now you have 19 grandchildren, you have nine great grandchildren. They should know themselves and communicate well and forgive one another and build up a big family support system. If you are united as a family, nothing can come in between you. You can achieve anything because of your number and connections. Remember that if out of 50 family members, only one or two are successful, it doesn't make sense. Build up one another and show love, forgive, eat together, celebrate together, have a day of feast. You are almost, you are, you are, your number can form a good a village. You can make up a good village and have a family day. You come here and you have your mass. After the mass, you begin to celebrate and have dances and parties. That is how to build up a family support from the social to the spiritual. But the social has to be supported by the spiritual. That's why you don't take away God from your fam family. Your ca family has a strong Catholic background and do not throw it away at any time. So may God bless you and keep you together. May God give you grace to know that this life is passing. In today's reading at normal morning mass today, it was saying that the word as we know it, St. Paul talking to Romans, the word as we know it is passing by. Let us love one another and believe in Jesus and show it in our actions. May God bless you and may God bless our parents. Bless Una Belix and grant her eternal rest through Christ our Lord. Amen. We think about these words for a moment and we pray that this, these words will be useful in our lives. May we stand for the intercessory prayers. Our response is, Lord, graciously hear us. For Una Bellis, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that she may now be admitted to the company of saints. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. For our sister who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that she may be raised up on the last day. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear us. For our diseased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord gracious, hear us. For those who have fallen asleep, especially Theophilus and Andre, in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord, gracious, hear us. For the family and friends of our sister Una Bellis, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord gracious, hear us. For all of us who have assembled here to worship God in faith, that we may be gathered together again 
in God's kingdom on the last day. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May we add, add our private petitions. When our mother was alive, she prayed her rosary and she asked for the prayers of our mother Mary. At this moment, may we ask our mother Mary, whom she loved so much, to pray for her and all of us. Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace. The, the Lord, Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and on our final death. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May we sit for the collection. and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory, glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Una, we beseech your mercy 
that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in your son Jesus Christ a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for it is your, at your summons that we come to birth. By your will that we are governed and at your command that we return on account of sin to that earth from which we came. And when you give this sign, we who have been redeemed by the death of your son Jesus Christ shall be raised up to the glory of his resurrection. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, let it do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, offer, O Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jason, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Una Lezema Bellix, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like this may also be one with your son in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, Andre, Theophilus, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Rose of Lima and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses. As, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take
Behold the Lamb of God, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord are not worthy that we should, should enter, enter under my roof. Only say the word, word and my soul, my soul shall be healed. Excuse me, um, as I can see, many of you are not practicing the faith. So many don't know when to stand or sit down or kneel down. So I have found out, therefore, please let those who will come out for the communion be those who are still practicing the faith, are in communion with the church, please. Others will be praying and singing for the soul of our mother. Please. Let us enter into
Imagine more of you when it seems you would know that my heart will leave to my chest when you enter the room, girl. Is this love? Is this real? Only time will tell and reveal that God gave us each other to be friends and love us forever's gonna be so good. Forever's gonna be so good, girl. So good, girl. May we stand, please. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by this food, our sister Una may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May we keep standing. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Una Lezema Belix. And now we come to the last farewell. There is always sadness in a pattern, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Una Belix again and enjoy her friendship forever. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith 
spirit of Jesus Christ. Amen. your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Una Lezema Bellix in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Una in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Please open the gates of paradise to your servant, Una, and then help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we gather here to commend our sister Una Felix to God, our Father, and to commit her body to the earth in the spirit of our faith in the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, let us raise our voices and offer our prayers always for Una Bellix. But because, because God has chosen to call our sister Una Bellis from this life to himself. We commit her body to the earth. For we are dust, and unto dust we shall all return. I will proclaim your name.
Yolim shall sound from every voice, soon every heart will worship you. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his own body in glory. For he is risen, he is the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our sister to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace and raise up her body on the last day. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessings. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, which will I shine upon her. May she rest in peace. May her soul and the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. So I thank you for bringing her to us for this last rites. And we encourage you to continue to pray for her and pray for yourselves. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Una Lazema Belix. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and lead you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham, and where Lazarus is poor no longer, and may you find eternal rest. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. I'm walking on my way to my Lord, to my Lord, 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 to my Lord's house. I'm walking on my way to the Lord, to my Lord who's waiting there for me. So let's all join hands and praise the Lord. Yes, love our Lord, 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 to our Lord's house. So let's all join hands and praise the Lord. Go to our Lord who's waiting patiently. I'm singing on my way to the Lord, to my Lord, 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 to my Lord's house. I'm singing on my way to the Lord, to my Lord who's waiting there for me. So let's all join hands and praise the Lord. Yes, my poor Lord, 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 go to our Lord's house. So let's all join hands and praise the Lord. Go to our Lord who's waiting patiently. I'm clapping on my way to the Lord. To my Lord, 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 to my Lord's house. I'm clapping on my way to the Lord. To my Lord who's waiting there for me. 
So let's all join hands and praise the Lord. Yes, love our Lord, 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 go to our Lord's house. So let's all join hands and praise the Lord. Go to our Lord. 